If we legalize marijuana, drug dealers will no longer target our children. What this does not say is who will target our children. And we should know this. Um, this is the tobacco industry. Uh, the tobacco companies are really the world's experts at targeting teenagers. They figure out all sorts of tricks. Um, the marijuana industry is actually better at it already. And that's because they offer products directly that kids love. Uh, and you got to look at what's being sold in the marijuana stores. So car water stores, they're not full of bags of green leafy weed like I bought from people in the 70s. They are full of marijuana edibles made from soda, cookies, and candy. Um, this is a shelf in a Colorado marijuana store. Soda pop infused with marijuana. Pot tarts. Reefers peanut butter cup. You know, these things attract kids and teenagers. Uh, you know, in Colorado, coil calls to poison control for toddlers ingesting marijuana have skyrocketed. This is why. They're, they're not smoking their parents' pot. Um, ganja gum. Stonios. Gummy bears infused with THC. Ganja joy. You know. um, but also, vaporizers designed to look like pens that can be used in class. You know, I said this before, but I'll say it again. Why do addictive drug industries tar target teenagers? So here's Mr. Butts talking to Mr. Brewski, and he says, you can look it up, dude. The top 10% of drinkers consume 50% of all alcohol sold. In other words, fully half our sales are to alcoholics. How's that for a business model? Um, actually, marijuana and tobacco have that one beat. Um, this is from the Colorado Department of Public Health. Most marijuana users are occasional users, but and by occasional, it's you know, once a month or less. They consume 4% of all marijuana. 2 to 3% of the population uses daily. They consume 87% of the marijuana sold in Colorado. So who do you think the industry cares about? And the best way to create these daily addicted users is to get them started as teenagers because the teen brain is more prone to addiction. People who start in their teen years will use more as adults than people who start as adults. So the pot industry has to target teenagers to survive just like alcohol and tobacco do. Uh, if they didn't target scenes, they go broke. So we should not believe that they just want adults to use.